Welcome back to Trailmakers. Now, Transformers have always been a really popular thing in games like these, but uh, I went looking and I don't think I've ever done a dedicated Transformers only video in Trailmakers. And by the way, if you hear some loud noises in the background of my recording, it is currently 4th of July here in America, so fireworks are going off like crazy. So that's just gonna be a thing in the background today, but I think my setup should muffle it enough so it's not gonna overwhelm me or anything. Um, so we're gonna start off with, of course, you can't have a Transformers themed video without some form of Optimus Prime, but this is apparently an Optimus Prime by Ultimatium that is a mini Transformer. And I mean, if you look at how small this creation is compared to my character, um, it is actually really impressive. First of all, just how good this thing looks as a truck when it's so small, because the smaller you build something in these games, the less detail you have to work with. Um, but this thing, it looks amazing at this scale. But when I press a single button, it actually opens up into a pretty good looking robot as well. <laughs> look at that. This is amazing. Like this is, I, I honestly, I, I didn't look at any other Transformers besides this one yet. So I don't know how anything else is going to compare, but this is going to be a tough one to beat. And oh, hold on a second here. We're having some, we're having some uh, transformation issues. There we go. Nice and flush back to our original form. So yeah, these are, I mean, Transformers are notoriously difficult to build. I haven't really built any Transformers, at least not on this level. The level of planning and foresight needed in your build is just kind of insane. So uh, let's see what else the rest of these Transformers are gonna have in store for us. So this is the absolute supercar mech Transformer by Mechsoft. Uh, I don't know what makes it so absolute or exactly what th this thing is going to transform like but uh this thing dry i mean it looks like it looks great as just a car apparently it's a supercar. feeling super already i don't know what the transform button is yet so i'm literally just gonna push buttons and see what happens and uh eventually i'm gonna transform right i I'm, i've been pushing some buttons and nothing's happening where's q and okay those must be transformation controls i'm gonna press number one. Oh boy here we go whoa what I'm not doing any of this. I just pressed number one and okay, mind blown. I'm uh, my definitely mind blown. What? All right, now I'm actually controlling it. This is amazing. This is actually amazing. This thing has a lot of automation involved, a lot of automatic uh, stability. Uh, it's keeping me in the air automatically in this transformation pose. Uh, this must also be what Q and E is used for now, I think. I don't know. It's actually kind of, kind of, oh, Q and E is strafe. Look at that. We got some side thrusters. You can actually strafe sides. It has more control in the air than on the ground. Well, I mean, most things have more control in the air and on the ground. And shooting still works. Yeah, this thing's pretty amazing. All right, let's, let's see about transforming back, though. Oh, boy, it just drops you out of the air. I was wondering if it was going to lower me or not. But no, it just drops you right out of the air. So let's see if this thing as a, as a car is good enough to do this loop. And yep, yeah, that's pretty much no problem at all. And then transform. Oh no. Don't transform into explosive barrels. All right, but I gotta see what happens when I transform at mid drive. Here we go. <laughs> it's perfect. It's actually kind of perfect. And I love that I can still shoot. All right, transform back. That is awesome. All right, and perfect landing. Look at that. They can't keep being this good. Okay, so this is Grizzly Truck Plus Tank by Dogston. So apparently, not only this is this a truck, but I'm expecting it to turn into a tank somehow. That was not the transform button. I am wheels now. All right, let's, uh, let's try this again. Let's not press that button. Q. I have never heard a horn like that in Trailmakers. That's a pretty awesome horn. All right, uh, it seems like most Transformers have number one as the transform key. So I'm gonna assume that number one is also the transform key. And number one. Oh, oh wait, what's that? Oh, number two transforms back. Kind of, wait, well, I don't know what I just did. It doesn't work no more. No more transform. Okay, here we go. Um, there, there's the cannon that I exploded myself with. 
But yeah, this is a much simpler interpretation of what it means to be a transformer. I mean, the classic transformers are they actually transform into robots from vehicles. But this thing just transforms from a normal vehicle to now like a, a, a thing that kind of does tank stuff. Oh, I just noticed, check out, the, check out what the cannons do. This is actually pretty cool. So the cannons actually extend after the transformation. I, kinda, I like that. So yeah, the really unique idea though, going from truck to tank. Here, let's explode one of these explosive barrels. Give them a taste of their own medicine. How do you like explosives being launched at you, huh? All right, but you know what's even more fun than exploding explosive barrels? Exploding myself with explosive barrels. There we go. <laughs> All right, so up next, um, I don't know if this is, this may have been one I looked at a long time ago when you've made like 2000 videos and looked at thousands of creations. Um, it's hard to remember every single individual creation, but probably still worth looking at again, even if I've seen it once before. Nightcrawler V12 Monster by Dark Soul. So this kind of has like Batman motorcycle vibes to start off with. Um, and I, there's no number one. I'm gonna press E. Oh, I guessed right that time. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Finish the transformation. There we go. All right, then it kind of just, it transforms into a, a wider version of it with, uh, gives it more of a car vibe. I can activate a uh, hover pad glitch to keep myself pinned to the ground, which will also presumably let me walk. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this. High tech wall climbing now, transform back. That's pretty cool. Yeah, there we go. So it's definitely more stable in this formation, which stands to reason because we have a wider wheelbase, but if we need to fit into any skinnier areas, uh, then this formation actually works pretty well too. Another unique type of transformer. This one's pretty much a wall climber at that. <laughs> All right, up next, we got the Zersterung by O Baron, And uh, this thing looks pretty robotic. I don't know what the transforming aspect of this is going to be. Um, these are some weird controls though. What, left shift, left control, space. Whoa! Whoa! I have never seen that amount of firepower in such a small area with those dots. So cool. They don't damage each other? That is amazing. All right, I don't even care if this thing transforms anymore. That was good enough. You know, it doesn't even, now the fireworks, they kind of just blend in at this point. I got crazy fireworks going on in the background now, but it doesn't matter. All right, uh, let's see. Up and down arrow. I can aim up and down with this and right and left. Okay. Q. Is there a transform button though? Oh, that is not the transform button. Why is there always an explosive button? <laughs> oh wait, it walks? I just noticed that it walks. I don't know why this thing was under transformers. Look at the, the toes are floppy. That's kind of, it kind of works, doesn't it though? Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, it barely flies. Barely enough rocket power. Oh boy, and going forward does not. Okay, gotta press shift. Oh no, oh, we're, we're in a feedback loop. Okay, I've exploded myself. I don't know if I would call this thing a transformer necessarily, but for some reason it was put in the transformers car uh, category, but I am still happy I looked at it because that firepower was amazing and the walking was pretty cool. Okay, up next we got this thing, which is called a very ordinary police car by a creator whose name I cannot read because it uses a different written language than I know how to read. Um, so it looks like it starts off as a hovercraft of sorts. All right, so I'm assuming when I press left control, whoa, oh boy, oh, boy. oh wow. Control feels completely different now. What does Q do? Oh, and we can put down, put down a spoiler or I don't, get rid of a spoiler of sorts. Whatever. Press left control now. Oh boy, I think I I think I need to put that up. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm gonna transform it in the middle of the air. Ready? Uh oh. Hey, that worked out all right. I mean, I lost a whole bunch of pieces, but other than that, it wasn't half bad. And transform again. Oh, okay. Don't take hovercrafts off of jumps. It's just not a good, not a good recipe for success. All right, another explosive barrel. See, uh, that is, doesn't matter what your creation is, if you drive into a, an explosive barrel, it automatically becomes a transformer. So that's just guaranteed transformer button. All right, up next, we have Anti-Titan Armor 3 The Fort by 12138762202. Once again, this is something I found in the Transformers category. Oh, okay, it's transforming. Whoa, oh, oh, okay. 
turned out better than I expected, actually. That was that was pretty cool. There's definitely more. To, oh, no way. And it starts walking as well. <laughs> All right, this thing's actually a lot more high tech than I was expecting. Uh, oh, it's got a backpack of guns. Oh, it had, it's another one of those triple gun things that I just saw. Okay, what are all, oh, and I can, and I don't think I, oh no, my head. Okay, I'm still intact, my head is still intact. I think I'm gonna go ahead and transform back now. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, calm down, calm down. There we go, okay, so now, it, no, okay, I'm bad at this one. Hey, look at the recoil. I can just use these guns to drive backwards. Okay, all right, turn that off. Let's see this transformation again in the sunlight, please. And X. Wait. Oh, no. <laughs> X is the walking function. Apparently, I can still activate walking function when I'm in car mode. Okay, hold on. E is transformation. Ready? E. So cool. Hold on. I gotta see it again. Going back down. Uh-oh. Not, not as cool that time. Going back up. There we go. Man, how do people plan these things out? Because I feel like, at least the, like, the Optimus Prime ones, you have a template to at least inspire your build, but I'm assuming this is not based off of like a real Transformer thing. Doesn't look familiar to me at least, but could be wrong. All right, we're heading to the water for this one. This is a Hydroplane by Wrench, Kel of Sprite. Uh, so I think this is also, I think it, it's, it's a hot, like I think it transforms from Hydro to Plane. Like, it's not like a hydroplaning vehicle. It is, oh, oh, I've got, wait, why am I going underwater when I activate those? Okay, no, okay, oh, that's weird. Oh, are they supposed to keep me down? Oh, oh, no, I'm not, I think I know what's happening now. Those are supposed to activate when I turn into plane. Are you ready? And uh, it's not the best boat. It looks nice as a boat, but there we go. And now, uh, now I can activate the propellers. And we fly out of the water. Now we are no longer a hydro, but we are plane. All right, but of course I gotta land back in the water and turn into boat. Bring hydro back. Now instead of hydro plane, we are plane hydro. Yeah, there we go. If only it could hydro better. <laughs> it planes good. That's not a hydro good. The description's actually kind of funny. I hated building this every second I toiled away on this, but now it is finished and it flies great. Please enjoy. He does acknowledge that the flying is is its uh, its strong point. All right, up next by JM star 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 13. This is Transformer Ironhide best ever. So uh, did the big big claim to fame in the title there. Let's see if it lives up to it. Uh, so drives around fine. This is the front it has rear wheel steering, which I don't know if that's normal for Ironhide. But uh, let's go ahead and press number one and see if it transforms. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, it's ha it's all happening. It's it's all happening. It's all happening. Oh my goodness. Whoa. There's so many. It's still going. It is still. Oh, look at the, like, the rib cage and everything. That was pretty cool. That was a pretty advanced transformation. What does number two do? Is this transforming back? Wait, I don't understand what number... Well, I don't know what's happening right now. Was I not... Okay, I should probably look at the description. One to transform into robot. Press two, wait, then press one to go into car... Okay, okay, all right. If you press two at the wrong time, you will suffer maniacal laughter. <laughs> all right, let's try this again. All right, number one to transform. Just gonna wait it out. Just watch, watch it in all of its glory. There we go. Literally lifts itself up, doing push-ups. All right. Brings down the chest pieces. Opens up the rib cage. There we go. All right, let's see what the controls are like. It doesn't appear to walk or control anything at all. Oh, okay, it does that. All right, we do that in robot mode. Okay, so now to transform back, we press number two and wait. We're just gonna wait. I'm waiting. I don't know how much, I don't know how long I have to wait. It doesn't appear to be doing anything else. Okay, now number one. Whoa. Whoa, that was really quick. How, 
How is number one so much quicker? It's the same button that does all of this in like 15 seconds. All of a sudden that same button reverses everything in one second flat. What? That's, I, I don't understand the programming of that. All right, press number two. There we go. And then press number one. And look at that. All of it just undoes itself right away. Hmm. Definitely way more advanced of a build than I would be able to do in a reasonable amount of time in this game. Okay, up next. Um, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Okay, let me show you exactly what, what is going on here. So I didn't know what to expect. It is called Chaotic Insanity by Mr. Bigglesworth. And it's just, the description is just the best thing ever. So I thought I was gonna hop in and transform into something crazy, but instead I get this. Whoa, oh, I didn't even realize there were rainbows. Oh, I just broke the sound barrier. <laughs> What have you done? I've transformed into infinity. That's what kind of transformer this is. It looks like it is just a bunch of pieces. A bunch of mechanical pieces have just been unnecessarily linked into each other and are just fighting against each other. And look at that, nailed it, right into the arena. Like, what? Why, why have you done this? Why did you, oh, I like how it just shoots us off into really cool directions. But yeah, that is chaotic insanity. All right, and I've got uh, one more to look at here, and I don't know, this may be one that I've seen before, but uh, it seemed pretty popular on the workshop. This is the Talon Transformer Jet by Kaz. And just looking at this thing already, looks amazing. It does look kind of familiar, but um, I guess for the new viewers of the channel that may not have seen it before, let's take a look. Okay, why? Well, I, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, to take off, first, switch to hover mode. Then, activate idle thrust. Using space will get you off the ground. All right, let's see. So first, we press Q. Oh, oh wow, there we go. We're getting into VTOL mode. Then Z. Okay, and then space. Oh yeah, look at that. Whoa. Oh, this is so cool looking. This, this by itself right here is such an awesome looking VTOL. And then, I don't know, Q. Oh, that is cool. This is more than a transformer. This is this is like the VTOLs that the people like back in the 40s were wanting to create and um, they just failed spectacularly <laughs> at trying to create something actually epic. Uh all right, let's try to let's try to do a VTOL landing on the uh, on the thing over here. There we go. There we go. Oh my, I forgot that it had legs. The legs come out when you get close to the ground. That is so cool looking. This is awesome. Yeah, this is pretty awesome right here. I love the aesthetic of this. Legs come up, transforms into plane mode. That is awesome. This is an awesome creation. I actually don't, I, maybe I didn't look at this one before. It kind of looked familiar and the name looked familiar, but I feel like I would have remembered this one, but it, then again, when you've done as many videos as I have every single day, it all kind of blurs together. It becomes a little bit harder to remember every single individual one. All right, and not only all of that, but it also flies spectacularly. Super easy to fly. Like, look at this. Look at this, no problems at all. No problems at all. I'll even go through this hoop. Look at that. Look at that, carved right through that hoop. What about going underneath here? Cutting it here. Oh my goodness. Okay, all right, just trying to... Perfect. See, look, so easy. All right, well, that is all the Transformers I have for you today. Let me know what your favorite was down in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, you'll probably enjoy some other stuff on the channel that you can find on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.